Guys, it's Doug here with Trigger King, and today I wanted to talk about what makes a solid axle monster truck, well, a solid axle monster truck. I know that might be a simple question to some of you experienced folks out there who understand monster trucks, RC monster trucks, but it's a question we get a bunch. And not only that, but what is, you know, if that's a solid axle monster truck, what is the difference between that and a, a regular RC monster truck or an independent suspension monster truck as we will uh, talk about here in just a bit. This is a question that we get a lot because especially uh, to like local people who wanna come race with us here in St. Louis, people will email and say, hey, I see what you guys do on YouTube. I've read your rules. Can I race my Traxxas Stampede or my Traxxas Bigfoot or my Arma truck? And I have to say, no, it's not a solid axle monster truck. And normally that's what, you know, they'll ask, well, what is a solid axle monster truck? So as simple as that question might sound to some of you guys, I know that some folks have it. So let's talk about that. So what I've got here is an actual SMT-10. This one's a modified one, but still the chassis, everything's the same. It's a good example of a solid axle monster truck. One of the most common ones you're going to find out there in the hobby. Why is it called that? Well, because it's got a solid axle. <laughs> I know that's that's really just it. That's as simple as it is. And they, they have two solid axles. It's the same way in real life, the full size monster trucks. What makes a monster truck a monster truck? Typically, I won't say all of them are like this, but 99% of all monster trucks you will see in a stadium across the US are solid axle. Uh, they have the same type of construction, the tubular chassis construction with the solid axles. Now, let's talk about what makes this different in the RC scene and why this is special. So this is an Arma Granite. Uh, four by four, actually. And there are a lot of these type of RC monster trucks. Most of them are like this. And it's not defined as anything but an RC monster truck. So that's why the other trucks, we say they are solid axle. That's to specify they have a solid axle on the more scale. So you can notice here, these do not have solid axles. These are independent. Independent suspension right here. You can see front and rear like this. Most of your Traxxas trucks are all gonna be like this. Uh, basher oriented is sort of what, what I call it, a basher style monster truck, but more of a traditional style monster truck. So it's totally different. Not only is the suspension different on these, but the chassis, you can see this is just like a tub chassis here, like a buggy. Most RC monster trucks are like a big buggy. That's how they are. They have monster truck bodies and they have tires, but for the most part, they're big buggies. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to say here one's better than the other. However, there is a difference, there's a notice difference. So you have this right here, your solid axle truck and this independent truck, they are totally different. These competing against each other would not make any sense. This one's gonna have quite a bit of advantage uh, here. This is again for bashing, general all purpose running. This makes much more sense. However, we like to be scale, we like to be like the full size thing and uh, these things can handle great as well. So we race our solid axle trucks because we are all monster truck nuts. But you know, we could get in a lot more here of some of the other differences that you traditionally see on these type of trucks, but inherently what makes a solid axle monster truck a solid axle monster truck is the solid axles. Yes, it's that simple. And uh, you know, to contrast here, an independent suspension truck, that's sort of its own thing too. Uh, but these are wildly different trucks. I know some people don't understand that necessarily. I hope this helps you, you know, understand the difference here and uh, why we race what we race and limit it to what they are. So yeah, guys, hopefully that clears it up for you guys. We'll see you really soon with another Trigger King Tech.